Nigeria, where President Bola Tinubu has instructed service chiefs and heads of other security and intelligence agencies to deal with anyone involved in oil theft, as he insists his administration will not tolerate the economic crime. He also says he's determined to build on the gains of the previous administration in fighting insecurity, reversing the misfortunes and turning around the tables, uh, the tides rather. President Tinubu said this while he convened the National Security Council meeting to get briefs from service chiefs and outline his plan to reform the security sector. We have details in this report. The new Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces meets his service chiefs for the first time after the presidential inauguration. President Bola Tinobu has said security will be the top priority of his administration and he will reform both the security doctrine and its architecture. This meeting with security chiefs that lasted for about two hours is marching words with action. The President has made it very, very clear that he is determined to build on whatever gains have been made and to reverse misfortunes and turn the tide in our favor. As far as he is concerned, this country should not be on its knees struggling while other countries are walking. The National Security Advisor says President Tinubu admits he does not have the luxury of time as insecurity continues to ravage some parts of the country and he has mandated security agencies to come up with a blueprint to reform Nigeria's security architecture. There must be a clearing house. All agencies must work to achieve one single purpose working at cross purposes and colliding with each other is not something that he will condone. He's going to embark on a lot of reforms in terms of our security architecture. He's going to take a closer look at our misfortunes in the maritime domain focusing particularly on the issues of oil theft. That he is not going to tolerate. Wherever the problem is coming from, it must be crushed as soon as possible. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Irabo, also disclosed that new directives have been issued on ways to guarantee the security of lives and property. He says his team is inspired and re-energized to execute the orders of President Bola Tinubu. The security disposition of, across the country to be. And so we have left Mr. President um, fired with that mandate and to uh, realign um, you know, our interventions to, to fit the expectations, not just of Nigerians, of course, with the mandate that Mr. President has given to us. President Bola Tinubu has inherited a security situation that has grown from bad to worse despite the huge government spending on defense. It most times seems as if the emerging security threat overwhelms Nigeria's armed forces and the police. As the new administration sets to work, its performance would likely be judged based on the prevailing security situation in the country. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.